so in the previous video we have added the basic player movement as you can see our player can move forward backward and to the left and right but as you can see our player can't change the facing okay so we need to fix that and first of all we need to change this camera thing okay we don't want the camera to collide with our player as you can see so for that what we will do is to simply click on this in whole involvement okay and let's tag this as environment let's click on it let's add the environment tag to it and also let's add a layer to it okay let's click on environment let's add the layer as well yes change children then let's click on the player let's take him as player and let's add a player layer as well so player and let's click on this yes change children after that let's select both of these cameras and right here let's change this collide against we want to collide against with the environment we have first of all select nothing then environment okay that's it now if we play it as you can see now it doesn't move inside our player and now it will collide against the environment as you can see it just doesn't go inside this containers it collide with it as you can see now we want to change the player facing and according to where the player wants to move so for that in the player script right here at the top let's create a float by the name of target angle and this will be equals to math f dot at n2 this is basically a built-in thing inside unity for the mathematic equations okay i will explain this but first of all let's complete our code right here inside this at n2 we want to pass the horizontal axis of our direction so we will say direction dot x and then the direction dot z and now let's multiply this by math f and let's convert the radius to degrees okay for that we use this red 2 deg guys i know that this code looks a little bit confusing but this is uh, just a mathematic equation okay but if you visualize this equation then you will understand that how this equation work okay so consider this as a coordinate system this represents our whole environment or scene with our player right here in the center this circle right here is the direction which we want the player to point in so right here then we use the 8 and 2 function right here we first give it the y coordinate and then the x coordinate and we actually divide those two so basically we first give the y and then the x coordinate of our direction to get the angle from the x axis to the vector so this assumes that our rotation start at 0 at the x axis and then increase counterclockwise so right here if it is 0 then right here it will be 90 then it will increase again then 180 and then to 70 but in unity our character will have a rotation of 0 so this means that if the player is uh, facing forward then the rotation will be 0 which is actually accurate if the player is moving in the forward direction or just looking in the forward direction it means that he is not moving or looking to the left or to the right so the rotation will be zero from here it increase in clockwise and to take this into account now right here now we will first pass the x coordinate and then the y coordinate 
then it will work just fine then we will get the angle that we need so now you know the reason behind this red 2 dot deg so basically this will give us the direction in radians and then we will convert that direction from radians into degree so now after this let's rotate our player towards that direction where the player wants to move okay so we will basically change the transform of our player so we will say transform dot rotation this will be equals to quaternion dot Euler in here for the X we will pass 0 then for the Y we will pass the target angle and then for the Z we will pass 0 F as well and what this quaternion dot Euler will do is it returns a rotation that rotate the z degree around the z axis and the x degree around the x axis and the y degree around the y axis so basically that this will rotate our player okay so just save the script now and now if we play the game you will notice that now if we move forward it is moving forward if we now move to the left side press the a button as you can see our player can now change facing as you can see if we move forward backward left and right our player change facing but as you can see the facing is really rough we want the uh, player facing to be smooth okay so in the next video we will make the player facing smooth so catch you guys in the next one